Hello, this is Brighton TV and either a poor Tottenham performance or an amazing Brighton one. How do you feel about that 3-0 victory versus them? Um, I think we did really well. Uh, Potter changed it today and all the changes he made were the right ones. Um, we got a bit of rubber to green in the beginning. Uh, Lloris dropping the ball was really handy. Um, at 1-0 we were a better side and we just kept pushing on. They didn't look like they wanted anything to do with it. I think with their run of results, um, they didn't look at all lively. So I think it was all positive things. Of course, would you think this is one of the best times of the season to play this poor Tottenham side? Oh, absolutely. Tottenham, uh, they're in, in turmoil at the moment, so you would definitely want to take them on. Um, after the drubbing they got in the Champions League, I would have thought they would have given up a bit more of a fight. But when we went up 1-0 so early, I knew that was probably a chance for us to have a decent chance of getting a result, which we ended up doing. So, Of course, completely different to our Hewton retreat, a game when you're 2-0 up. How do you think Potter's attacking philosophy is much different to Hewton's? Um, well, yeah, he's playing a way more attacking football. Um, the substitutes he makes, the changes he makes um, just from week to week already in such an early point of the season, um, you can tell he's definitely not um, afraid to change things. Whereas last season it was a lot of the same week in, week out. Um, this season he's seeing where weaknesses are. It's sort of a learning process for him as well as the players. So I think he's figuring out the best team we have week in, week out, um, and it showed it today. Of course, me, I see a lot of young players for Brighton slowly getting up. Connolly and Alzate, amazing for the fans. How do you feel about him? Connolly was class today, absolutely. Thought he should have had a hat-trick. Um, Alzate was brilliant. He's To be out of the two, he's, he sees a bit more of the ball being behind the attacking. But um, I think both of them have proved their worth for the first team. They definitely look like they belong in the first team, so quality. And I think that's something that we wouldn't have had um, with the previous manager. Um, I don't think he would have been willing to give the youngsters an, a, a chance like Potter has. So all credit to the manager, really. Of course, Trossard should be back after international break. Are you excited for that much attacking? You know what, with Trossard as well, it just proves, without him, it proves that we can play without him. But the idea of him coming back as well is what we have already. It just gives us another option and it gives us so many options going forward. Um, so, yeah, um, it looks like the sky's the limit at the moment. Yeah, obviously, for the last few weeks, we've had so many injuries, but we're still able to adapt and end up beating one of the big six sides, 3-0 at home. Yeah, yeah, the injuries have been a concern of late. Obviously, Solly March came back today and Pesuma's working his way back in. Um, they're not, they haven't started yet, which is great. Um, obviously, the manager's going to take time with them, but the, the squad is going to get healthier and that's only going to be better. So, beating a Tottenham team who are languishing a bit, 3-0, with the injury problems we have, um, it only bodes well for the future. Thank you. All right, mate. Cheers. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Brighton TV and follow us on Instagram. Yeah.